The government's loan scheme for workers affected by the coronavirus epidemic has seen an avalanche of applications. In less than two weeks, 540,000 people have applied for the low interest loan, which has a maximum limit of 100,000 NT. The original plan to limit the scheme to 500,000 people has been scrapped. The go government now plans to accept up to a million applications. But some say the threshold for applications is too low and people with no financial hardship will take advantage of the process, crowding out those who really need help. With just two types of ID and a form, this worker can apply for a 100,000 anti bailout loan. There are few conditions on the loan, and people are rushing to get in line. It's not a lot of money, but for people who need a small loan, for school fees, for example, I think it's probably a great initiative. First, I would take care of my living expenses, and if there is any left, I might make some investments. The government is encouraging people to hurry up and use the money to do something meaningful and revive the economy. The loan goes up to 100,000 NT and has to be paid within three years. There's a fixed interest rate of 1.845 percent, but payments are subsidized by the state in the first year. It's an attractive offer. It's for people who've been affected by the epidemic and need some financial liquidity. You just need to sign a pledge and we will approve it. That means we won't be following strictly what you're doing with the money. Originally, there was a cap of 500,000 on the number of beneficiaries. In less than two weeks, that was exceeded. Now, the executive yuan says the loan can be extended to an additional 500,000 applicants. Everyone needs some cash flow. It's a good policy, I think. The interest is very low. People who can get by don't need it. It's only 100,000 NT, but for people who don't have the means to get by, it could be really helpful. But the scheme has its critics, too. Applicants only need proof of employment and a good credit rating. Some say the bar is too low. This is not just failing to help the poor. It's helping loads of people who shouldn't be helped. Lots of people are saying, well, the interest is so low. Even though I have millions or tens of millions in savings already, there is no reason not to take the money. To that criticism, officials have asked the public to be pro-social and not take the loan up unless they really need it.